Wait a minute. What day is it? It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Tacos on keto? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, we're gonna show you how. <laughs> Roll the intro. What's up, my keto friends? And you know who you are. I'm Byron Dice. And I'm Susan Dice. And together, we're the Dice family on this My Keto Friend channel. Just us? Dice yes. Family? Just us. And if this is your first time here, and you want to live a simple keto lifestyle and other keto-related topics, all I need you to do now is go down a little bit, hit that red subscribe button, move over a little bit, click that little bell so you don't miss any videos when we upload them here on this wonderful keto channel. Now, as we mentioned before, Taco Tuesday. What are you talking about? You can have tacos what on keto? What are you talking? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you, that's a good one. What are you tacoing about, my guy? Tacos and keto, I love tacos, Taco Bell. But that is a thing of the past now because of our keto lifestyle. It just, it's not gonna happen anymore. So we had to say bye. But since we love the tacos. And my kids love tacos. We had to find out a way. What are we gonna do? And this and, is so simple and so easy and so fast. And the deal is, everything about the taco is probably keto except the shell. That's right. Of course, we haven't... Now, this is the hard taco shell I'm talking about. We haven't perfected the, 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 the burrito and the soft taco yet. Yet. Okay? Because we're mad scientists here. I'm the man. However, he just that was the only hurdle because everything inside the taco is good to go. Like if you dumped the taco out at Taco Bell, threw the shell away and ate that, you'd be good to go. That's what we usually have. Like when we go to um, Moe's or go to Welcome Chipotle, to Moe's. Go to Chipotle. We'll have a, we call it, or and also Taco Mama. I don't think Taco Mama is everywhere. Taco Mama is amazing. Yeah, man. They got that bowl. We just do. nothing but the good stuff in it. We, burrito in a bowl. Yes. So good. Yeah, we'll have to do that video too. I mean, that's just like dumping everything that you would normally put in a burrito or a taco in a bowl. Yeah. But anyway, what about taco sauce seasoning? Don't you have to season the meat up a little bit? Well, what do you do with that, um, we're also, Susan? We're also going to show you guys how we make our own taco seasoning because it's healthier. Taco, the old Ortega. What's that? Taco, no, this is good stuff. Oh, it is? Yeah. This is, um, we bought this at Sam's. It's called Mook's Taco Seasoning. Mook's? Oh, wait, did we buy it at Sam's? Yeah, I think we bought it at Sam's. Um, it has zero carbs, but the list of ingredients on this is pretty amazing. It's just spices, chili pepper, salt, dehydrated onion, paprika. Eh, it's got natural flavors. But, paprika. I mean, you paprika. can't. Paprika. You can't beat it. But I mean, that's pretty much it. And so, okay, so before you found this, you were making your own taco seasoning, right? Because you couldn't find it anywhere. I still make my own a lot of times. Like when this runs out, I probably will never buy anymore. We bought this because we were in Kansas City with Delori, and she didn't have ah, any the Kansas trip. taco seasoning, and she didn't have all the ingredients that I use to make taco seasoning. So we bought this, which, like I said, it's a good alternative. If you don't want to make it, you can buy it. We just always keep the, uh, those seasonings on hand, and so I just make my own fresh. Right. If you can't get to it, you might as well make it yourself. Yes. That's what my dad used to say. And we're going to show you guys how. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, for our homemade taco seasoning, we're using four tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of cumin, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of onion powder, and one half tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Okay, and for our taco shell, we're using a microwave safe plate. This is 1970s Corel Ware. You can see by the green pattern. It's beautiful stuff. We've had it for 50 years almost. This is one fourth cup 
of cheddar cheese. Store-bought, already shredded, kind of maybe a little dirty keto because it's got probably some kind of something. And I just kind of spread it around until desired kind of thickness and shape. And I'm gonna microwave this in my microwave. I'm gonna microwave this for four minutes on half power. And we have a 700 watt. For everybody's microwaves are different, so you might have to play with it. You may burn some, you may have to keep cooking it and keep cooking it and just check it every few minutes. But my microwave is a 700 watt, half power, four minutes. Okay, and I got this cute little thing at Home Goods. T uh, it's a TJ Maxx store, Home Goods, and you gotta kind of work quickly. So here's the finished cooked item. I get just take a butter knife and I scrape it up and I drape it over. It's still a little warm, so but I can touch it. I've got calloused hands probably and I just put it down in here and there's your taco I'm gonna do a couple more and I'll show you them filled and we'll taste them all right guys we just showed you overhead shot of how she made these taco shells in this little nifty container here and I uh, want to show this shot because you can make the taco right here inside nobody it. can see that when you just now are holding oh. it nobody can see that but they can see that i was just showing you we made the taco together we showed you the shell and then we made the taco just wanted to show you that but we're gonna pull this baby out with our 1970s plate you, okay it's real simple you know of what? course tacos I, you, fall over you know what I, but you know what since i make these at home why don't i make them because they have some now that you can buy in the stores that have the flat bottom Flat bottom. Flat bottom girls? Mm -hmm. Flat bottom girls. So that they'll stand up. We should do that. I'm oh, they that. have those? Mm -hmm. So make the flat anytime. so it stands up. Now here's the deal. Taco, I, I'm surprised Taco Bell hasn't came across this. It, it's basically a cheese taco shell. Why haven't they done, I know they come out with a Cool Ranch Dorito shell, but it's not, it's not Dorito. I mean, it is Doritos, but it's, it's why not cheese? Wait a minute. And the shell, listen. So you have a crunch? No, you just let me crunch. try it. This is short though. So you gotta have the head. You gotta have the head tilt, and the uh, it's the taco neck tilt. You ready? Uh, oh my lord! Mm. My. Did y'all get that? What? No, they can just hear smacking. They can't hear. I'm not smacking. Can you get a crunch on on the on the vet? Wait, go up. Ah, you had to hear that. I heard it. That you're screaming in my ear. Mm. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Tacos, baby. This is so good. And my kids. I, Taco I usually, Tuesday. I just spit on your plate. I usually do these like once a week. Usually I try to do it yeah, on Tuesday. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Because the kids are like, Mom, it's Taco Tuesday. So what do you do for Wednesday? Um, What do I do on Wednesday? Asparagus, win asparagus Wednesday? No. Something rhymes with Wednesday. I think it's just whatever Wednesday. Yeah. Whatever Wednesday. We'll do whatever Wednesday. <laughs> we'll do that next video. I don't know what it'll be. It'll be, it'll be. it'll be whatever. And like in our last video, I mentioned my leftover soup. I, I do leftover soup for like usually on like Thursday or Friday. Depends on whatever we had at the beginning of the week. Wow. So, well, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you make this delicious dish at home for your family, for your keto friends, uh, <laughs> let us know in the comments. We're going to put how to make this. Well, I mean, you just saw how to make. I was going to say put it in the description. I'll do that as well. But it's delicious. If you did like it, please like, comment, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Comment and comment and keep commenting because he keeps saying comment. Did I say comment three times? No, I didn't. We'll see. All right. Until next time, keep it taco. Keto taco. Sorry, guys.